All right, let's, uh, let's take a look here of now what I'm going to do is do some operations here with powers or exponents. So remember, by using the order of operations, whenever we have an expression, it is, ex I don't know, crucial, ex crucial something, maybe ex crucial. I was thinking of some cool word, but let's just go with this. Very important. We've got to make sure we do our power first. Don't do add, subtract, multiply, divide, right? Because remember the order of operations say to use your exponents first. So do my exponent. I'm going to do the exponent first for each one of these problems. Then I'll do the multiply, divide. Then I'll do the add and subtract. Well, here I only have two operations. So I'm, either, I'm going to do the exponent and then the next operation. So here I have 3 squared, all right, which is going to be 9 minus 4. Here I have 2 cubed, which means 2 times 2 times 2. Well, 2 times 2 is 4. Times 2 again is going to be 8 plus 1. Here I have 1 half squared, so it's going to be 1 half times 1 half. Remember when multiplying fractions, multiply the numerator and then across and then multiply the denominator across. So what I'd have is 1 half times 1 half. 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 2 is 4. So I'm going to have 4 times 1 fourth. Here I'm going to have 10 cubed, which is 10 times 10 times 10. Well 10 times 10 is 100 times 10 is going to be a thousand. Okay, so now let's just go and simplify because now we only have one more operation left, right? So these are pretty simple. Nine times four is going to equal five. Eight plus one is nine. Four times one fourth, these are multiplicative inverses of each other, so therefore my answer is one. And then 10 divided by 10, right? We can drop our zeros. And that's going to leave me with 100. So there you go. That's how we can use our powers when having two different terms.